Today we are going to learn how to create custom metadata using JavaScript in our Math Connect Transformer. You can see over here the column names and uh, the metadata types which we can search by using Math Connect dashboard. So let's go to Math Connect quickly and see how it works. So currently we are in our Math Connect table and I created one specific channel over here create custom metadata and it is empty. I'll double click on it and I'll go to source. I'll click on transformer. I'll add new step. I'll click it as uh, JavaScript and I won't uh, do anything over here. I'll just comment it out and we'll go back. We'll save this before before uh, doing the actual code. We need to test it. So what I'll do, I'll copy one sample message from uh, my notepad and I'll test it. So I'm copying uh, one of the sample messages over here. Control copy and I'll send it over here. Send message and I'm just sending it over here. I'll process it and refresh. Yep, one message has been delivered. We'll see how it looks in the dashboard. So we can see there are a lot of things over here. Uh, the source, uh, the type, uh, the medical uh, record number and a lot of things. So I, I want more details over here. I just don't want medical record number or the few things which are over here like the import ID which I am selecting over here. I want more criteria here to search. Okay and you can see the medical record number is empty because I haven't coded anything. And about the sending facility, the type, these are all metadata which have been inbuilt. So they, they, they will get it uh, customly from uh, the Merth and we need to add what whatever new things customly. So previously I added medical record number, you can see it over here. Now we'll see how we are going to add it and what are the uses of it. I'll go to channels, I'll click on uh, create meta table, source, edit transformer. What I'll do, this is a very basic coding, no need to worry. I'll create a variable known as apple and I'll send some value over here. So I already copied uh, the Merth Connect uh, sample message over here. What I'll do, I'll go to Notepad. So this is the same message which I copied. So no need to worry. I'll just copy again for your understanding purpose. So here we are not using outbound, just inbound. So I'll go to message tree. I'll do one thing. So I want some special field. We are going to select some special field. For example, uh, yeah, we'll take, yeah, control ID. So I'll drag it over here. So you can see the variable Apple is created and uh, we added control ID to it. So here uh, we'll be a little bit confusing what was the major difference. If I go back, if I save the changes, if I go anywhere, anywhere over here, you cannot see the variable apple over here you cannot see it but i'll go to source i'll click on it and what i'll add channel map dot put which is over here even you can check it over here channel map dot put value lot of things are available here so you can drag one of the thing over here perfect channel map dot put key and value so your value is nothing but the apple over here and the key is nothing but you can you can give your own key you can give it as another apple not a problem okay this is just for uh, testing purpose I'll give you a good example after this testing so I'll go back I'll save the changes and I'll go to destination you can see the uh, variable apple is added over here means we can use it externally outside this code outside this code we can even use that particular variable externally channel map dot put is always helpful when we are using particular variables outside the scope of the transformer sometimes even the complete channel we can use it in the complete uh, all the channels available I'll go back to channel I'll click on create custom metadata click on source I click on edit transformer I'll go back yeah over here in the summary I'll come here you can see I gave it as medical record number that's the reason it was reflecting what I'll do I'll give Apple Apple is nothing but what we have given initially and I'll give something like yeah actual 
control id control id uh, yep so column name is nothing but the name which is reflecting in the dashboard variable mapping is the actual variable name which we gave what i'll do i'll save it yes perfect and i'll deploy the channel yes that's amazing now we'll go and see how uh, the custom metadata is reflecting over here i'll click on dashboard over here you can see control id popped out and you might ask why there is no data in the control id uh, there should be some value right the thing is like we send this message even before creating this metadata we should remember this it is very important we created this control id after sending the message so what we'll do we'll send the message now i'll copy this and the control id should be reflecting i'll go to dashboard right click send message and i'll just process this i'll refresh you can see the count is 2 over here perfect you can see control id is nothing but apple over here whatever uh details uh, you will change it will uh, get reflected now you might ask me one uh, important question why the control id is apple over here actually uh, it is something something else the control id is 143143 why it is reflecting it as apple we'll go to channels so these are the very basic mistakes which we will do while we are doing coding and i want to do as many as mistakes as possible so we'll understand it much better and better now by using this code you just check what's a mistake so here you can see we even created the value in the double quotes like a string so what uh, the apple variable do will take this value and show it over here if i go back to dashboard okay i'll save it yes yeah if i go to dashboard you can see uh, over here i created uh, apple before so only apple ab whatever i was giving in the value it was saving it over here i'll go to channels what i'll do i'll go to destinations it might take a little bit long this one but it's very simple i'll remove this i'll remove this code that's it now what it will do this apple will pick the value from here and paste it over here and we'll be using apple as a custom metadata table and we'll give some special value to it i'll go back and i'll save this i'll go to summary over here as our name is apple the variable name and i'll give something over here testing so we are testing this uh, metadata column name so we should see the column name as testing i'll save it uh, yes and i'll deploy this perfect if i go here you can see the complete new column with the name testing is over here and i'll click on it i'll reprocess the message perfect i'll search you can see the value uh, the control id value is nothing but testing so this is how you need to create the metadata columns and i'll be creating multiple columns now and explaining you in a minute and even i pasted the same code in my github repository i'll show you how to how to do it so let's learn how to do it go to channels this will be very easy from now i'll transformer i'll paste my github repository code over here here you can see i created uh, multiple uh, uh, mrn values and uh, ssn values last name date of birth and uh, all other values over here so just remember this mrn ssn and everything or else i'll copy paste in my notepad for the understanding i'll go back i'll save this and i'll start adding things now i'll go to summary okay i'll remove this and i'll add this mrn okay mrn and medical record number medical i'll give it as medical rn which is nothing but medical record number and what are the other values we have added over here so what we'll do i pasted this in notepad for our understanding yeah after mrn ssn number social security number okay i'll just copy this i'll go back and paste it over here and i'll add something like uh, social i don't want a big name over here so social security number social ssn perfect so in the last name i don't want this column uh, so i just uh, tested it so what i'll do date of birth 
so we can search with all these values in future okay I'll give it as date of birth so here I'll give it as date sorry date of birth I'll give it as B yeah so you can see all these column names are uh, getting popped out so this date of birth and this is facility name yeah perfect no problem so you might ask uh, shall I give the variable mapping name and column name same absolutely you can give it not an issue at all so we want to try as much as uh, different scenarios as possible so we'll know things so even in my tutorials I'll make sure I'll try as many scenarios as possible so we'll see all these values popping out I'll save it yes I'll deploy the channel perfect and as you can see the medical record number the social security number date of birth facility name everything has been popped out so if you add any custom metadata tables the previous message won't get deleted so you should remember it when you are like uh, doing like uh, testing in between the production and you want to add some medical uh, so some metadata so here you should remember that the previous message will not get be deleted so it's very easy right if you are doing some production testing and we need to search on the basis of some special criteria and your previous message will not be deleted that's a delayed moment now what we'll do we'll reprocess a message and see whether these are reflecting I'll reprocess perfect I'll just give a search absolutely these are all reflecting and you might ask why date of birth is not reflecting you should answer this because we might not have given a proper date of birth over here I'll just copy this and we'll check so we will do troubleshooting as much as possible and we'll go to our mouth and see which which value we actually uh, give it out about over here source a transformer pit 7 okay we'll see what we have in pit 7 so I, I just use this for uh, some testing purpose you can use anything else uh, October 30 yeah this looks good for me and we'll troubleshoot why this value was not reflecting this is not important in this uh, session but we'll troubleshoot it Control copy we'll come back here so here in date of birth we gave it as a capital letters DOB and if I go back if I go back to the source I intentionally gave it as small letter so if you do the small mistakes nothing will reflect so I just want to make sure as much as possible mistakes I do in my session so it will be easy for you to correct so always give what you actually gave, given in the code so now it should work and I'll deploy the channel amazing I'll go back to my dashboard yes I'll just reprocess the message okay refresh amazing even the date of birth is getting reflected that's how you will be adding all the custom metadata values uh, in the Merth connect so by using this top right corner uh, filter you can change these things for example I want to remove medical record number that's it it got removed I want to remove facility name that's it got removed so it's very very important uh, using uh, custom metadata variables uh, in your Merth connect and I already explained how to search uh, by using custom metadata values so we'll give a short uh, look over here so it's a metadata over here new source so we have all this number medical record number that's it uh, you can give it's equal to and the value over here like uh, the value which I have given over here automatically this will help you in searching I'll do one thing I'll just copy this uh, medical record number okay it should be here perfect and I'll give it over here okay now uh, everything has been done internally when I search it should pop out uh, the custom medical record number and we'll see why it is not popping out you might got the point you know I, I was searching with social security number and I was never searching with custom medical data record number so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine so that's how again you make mistakes in uh, in the production and try to figure out what's going wrong so you should be very accurate when you are doing things click new source is nothing but uh, okay yeah this is nothing but medical record number equals to I'll give the number over here one two three four five six seven eight nine perfect I'll click OK and this should give 
the values amazing the values have been shown that's how uh, the custom metadata is very very important and we'll be learning more and more interesting features uh, in future thank you have a great day